Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a quick haul video just showing some things off I picked up today. You know, paycheck, so, you know, gotta spend more of my money. Um, but, you know, it's not a waste because each of these things I do possess a certain amount of love for and I, you know, I'm a big collector, so kinda gotta dip into it every week a little bit anyway. And, uh, yeah, I went out with my girlfriend today, enjoyed some, uh, you know, Asian cuisine, and then just, uh, you know, just places like Best Buy and FYE and such. So I'm just going to show you some things I got today. And this includes uh, the third season of Arrow on Blu-ray. I have the other two seasons on Blu-ray, so sticking to the same format. And uh, you guys can watch my review of the uh, second season. It's uh, in my channel not too long ago. I uploaded that. You know, I was pretty happy with how season two turned out, and I know people have, you know, complained a lot about season three and four from what I heard. Um, but I'm still very much looking forward to certain uh, plot points um, regarding Al Raz Al Ghul, uh, League of Assassins, as well as uh, you know Deathstroke keeping to his uh, promise as well. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, but my girlfriend is in the room here, so I'm not allowed to directly uh, talk about certain spoilers right now. But, uh, yeah, Season 2 is great, and I do have faith in, uh, most of the stuff in Season 3. Minus the illicit stuff, but, you know, we'll, we'll deal with that. <laughs> but, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm starting this tonight. I'm also, uh, catching up on, uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, and we'll talk about that in a second. But, yeah, pretty cool case. Um, I did buy it used, so I didn't, I didn't get, like, the outside, uh, cardboard with it. Um, but, you know, it's fine, and it was only about 20 bucks. Um, so that definitely worked out. So yeah, I really like the cover. I also plan on getting a poster that's kind of like the cover on this at some point, so that'll be nice. So yeah, awesome. And then I finally did it. <laughs> I finally bought the uh, first season of uh, Fear the Walking Dead. This is the uh, Best Buy Blu-ray Special Edition. Um, and I am catching up on Fear the Walking Dead right now. I have about four episodes left in season two before I'm fully caught up. Um, I just watched... Uh, let me see, I just watched... Pablo and Jessica, episode 11. Um, and, you know, season 2, I think it's been an, imp an improvement on season 1. I really actually loved the 10th uh, episode, Do Not Disturb, mainly because Alicia actually got to, you know, pull some serious shit in that episode. And you guys know I love The 100. I love uh, Alicia Debenham carry on The 100 as Lexa. Um, and one of my frustrations with Fear is that I always felt like they didn't really utilize Alicia properly. And I still kind of feel like that, but they're starting to actually develop her a decent amount. So I'm starting to get into the show a little bit more. Um, it's still no The Walking Dead, but they're starting to really uh, actually show some more of their potential with certain characters like Travis, Strand, and Alicia especially. Nick's alright too. I do wish they'd just kill Madison off though, but... <laughs> Here's to hoping if they kill Madison or Travis, Travis, it's uh, Madison this time. But yeah, pretty cool cover, a little bit of a reflective thing going on, so that's pretty nice. Of course, got the Blu-ray. And I'll show you the inside of it real quick. It did come with like a little uh, ad with uh, Alicia and Nick on it, but I actually put that above my Walking Dead poster. Um, I guess I can kind of turn to that real quick. It's sort of above it. You can see it. <laughs> but yeah. And now I gotta fix my camera again. Great. So, uh, yeah. There you go. And open it up. Don't need to see the receipt. And I get the discs. Do wish I had the episode titles and descriptions on it. It's kind of weird that they don't. But still. Then you got Travis and uh, Madison right there. Travis is actually turning into a pretty, uh, uh, likable character. You can kind of invest in a little bit more as it goes along, but Madison, uh, I just don't really like Kim Dickens' performance, and she's sort of a frustrating character to me. But then you have uh, Nick and Alicia. Nick I didn't really care for before either, but they're starting to you know, add a little bit more to him as far as his uh, backstory goes. And Alicia, of course, I just love the actress from The 100, and I think she's finally starting to get a real chance on this show. So hopefully she sort of develops uh, Maggie or Carol style and she becomes one of the most uh, relevant characters on the show. I think that's happening. And she's actually showing that she has a pretty damn good head on her shoulders too, so I like that quite a bit. But uh, yeah, so I put the receipt back in. There you go. So yeah, finally bought the first season. Um, 
like I said, only a few episodes left to catch up on it, and when I do see the whole second season, I will do a video on it, sort of giving my uh, updated stance on the show as a whole. But yeah, pretty cool. And then I bought, well, my girlfriend showed it to me in the store, is this uh, Godzilla plush. Of course, I've been a Godzilla fan since I was a very small child. Um, of course, you can kind of see his belly sticking out here, very squishy and, you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I will be seeing Godzilla Resurgence or uh, Shin Godzilla on the 11th. I'll get that review out, and you guys can check out my reviews of Godzilla Final Wars and Godzilla 2000 on my channel. Still might do a review on the original Gojira movie, but we'll see. But yeah, Godzilla is just one of my favorite things growing up, and still something I, someone I'm very attached to nowadays. Just the character, I, it's one of my absolute favorites of anything of all time. So, you know, I kind of like him a little. But yeah love Godzilla. Um, this is a cool thing to have. I'd buy anything Godzilla. So very cute. And then I did buy the Godzilla Pop a while ago, but this is the uh, glow-in-the-dark version right here. I'm not sure how well the effect works, but still pretty cool. So yeah. Only a little bit more expensive than your uh, typical smaller Pop, so not bad. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this quick video, Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.